Okay, good day, good evening, good afternoon. This is Alex Hay with EXP and the Hay Group of the Treasure Coast bringing you hot market update August 2019 to August 2020. Amazing numbers. Stay tuned. All right, so we're giving you a Tri County. This is an amazing seller's market that we're in, and I'm about to show you the numbers that are going to absolutely blow you away. So we're starting off always with St. Lucie County. Now, closed sales 2019 August were 525, and there were 657 in August of 2020, up 25%. Martin County was 199 units in August of 2019. 248 units in August of 2020, up 24.6%. Amazing. Moving down to our Palm Beach County, remember, much larger county. We have 1,566 units were closed in 2019. We had 1,814 units closed in 2020. That is up 15% in units closed. Now, paid in cash, our laundered money, Mattress Money, St. Lucie County, 2019 was 111 units were closed cash. We had 134 units closed cash. That's up 20% paid in cash. St. Lucie County moving down to Martin County, 65 units in 2019. We had 80 units in 2020, so that's up 23% across the board. We're up Palm Beach County was 450 units in 2000, or um, paid in cash in uh 2019, and we had 534 in uh, 2020, so that's up 18% in Palm Beach County, paid in cash, laundered money. Now, moving down to our average sale price, be careful with this one. This isn't how much your property appreciated, but this is an average. It was St. Lucie County was 240,000. Uh, 298 in 2020 August, it was 273,824. That's up 14%. So an average sale price up Port St. Lucie year to date, 14%. Moving down to uh, Martin County, this is a crazy one, 418,894. This is up a whopping from 659,517. That is up 57 percent in the average sale price remember martin county your house has not appraised appreciated by 57 percent these are uh, some interesting numbers 511,000 in uh, palm beach county and it went up to 650 in palm beach county so that's up 27 percent of the average sale price these numbers are staggering Dollar volume, remember this, we put all of the $1 sale home to a million dollar sale home, that would be two units for a million dollars, one dollar. This would be uh, 126 in St. Lucie County in 2019, it was 179 million, uh, 0.9 in 2020, and that's up 42%. You think a lot of units haven't closed in that year, amazing. Uh, we do down to Martin County was 83.4 million was 2019 and it went to 163.6 million in 2020. That is up 96% from August of last year. Absolutely staggering. Moving down to our Palm Beach County, we had 801 million point seven to uh, 1.2 billion with a b billion that is up uh you know 47 percent in palm beach county as far as a uh, dollar volume now i change it up a little bit here because i wanted to show you median time to contract this shows you how fast this seller's market is moving median time to contract in 2019 in port st Lucie, it was 38 days and in um, 2020, it's 26 days. You're down 31%. This means that units are going faster than uh, 31% days on the market. Absolutely stunning. Uh, this shows you we're in a seller's market here. We have 59 days in Martin County average time to contract. We went down to 37 days average time to contract. That's down 37%. It shows you the velocity, how fast this market is moving. Now, we move down to um, median time in Palm Beach County was 48 days 2019. It was 35 in 2020, so that is a 
decrease in days in the market in Palm Beach County. Absolutely amazing. Now, we'll move down to pending inventory. This will show us, you know, how many more units are on have gone through contingencies. Remember, pending is you're just moving towards closing. All contingencies are cleared. St. Lucie County, 912 units. In 2019, it was 1,037 units. In 2020, that is up 13.7% in uh, <coughs> pending inventory. Pending inventory, Martin County is 320, was 327 units in 2019, and it is 327 units in um 372 units, get a little dyslexia there, in 2020, and that is up 13.8%. Amazing. Down to Palm Beach County, uh, 2019 was 2,576 uh, was a pending at this time. Units, now it is 2,926 in 2020. That is uh, up 13.6% in pending units uh, that are ready to close. Now, here's our big number, guys. This really tells us whether we're in a buyer's or seller's market, remember a buyer's market is over six months of inventory given the absorption for the season. It's under three months of inventory given um, that's a seller's market. Now, we'll show you right here. Last year, reports or St. Lucie County was 3.7 months of inventory. In 2019, 2020 was 1.9, down 48% absolutely stunning. Now, month supply of inventory in Martin County was 4.9. We were really trending towards that buyer's market in uh, 2019. Uh, and now 2020, we are at 2.8 months of inventory in Martin County. Absolutely stunning. That is down 42% of month supply of inventory. Now, moving down to Palm Beach County, we had 4.3 months of inventory, a little less than Martin County this time last year, but still trending towards that buyer's market. We went down to three uh, months of inventory, so Palm Beach County is pretty much in a full seller's market. They're down 30%. Now, if anybody out there isn't absolutely uh, stunned by these numbers, we know the national trends. People are moving from the north into this area. We're also seeing people move from the north. We're seeing people move from the south where that congestion is, low interest rates. This is all uh, really brewing into this incredible seller's market. So if you're a buyer out there, we know how difficult it is. Uh, make sure you have a good agent that's doing escalation clauses and so forth so that you don't get outbid if you really want a home. Sellers, uh, really make sure you have a good agent that is looking at the leading edge of this thing and really seeing kind of where this will be almost in 30 days given where things are going. So those are our great numbers. We appreciate you sticking around. Uh, reach out to us if uh, you're looking to get top dollar for your home. We're seeing, uh, uh, we're seeing sales go over asking price, multiple offers. It's a, it's a really amazing market. So stay tuned uh, for the next episode. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you.